Hey everybody, Matty here with Backwoods Mindset. So today, I got some cleanup to do. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do and that's what you're gonna be seeing. We're gonna get to it. I gotta take care, everybody was telling me, I need to clean that floor where all that stuff could have been um, from when it overflowed. So I'm gonna get in and do that. Update, the carpet is almost completely dry now. So use some fans, use that little heater that I picked up and it's working great. So that's almost dry. Um, I can smell, the last thing I used was vinegar and baking soda and I can still kind of smell the vinegar down here a little bit. So we're gonna do some cleanup back there. Um, I'm gonna hand scrub the floor. Um, I'm gonna use what I showed you yesterday in it because this is, it's good stuff. See? So I wasn't paying attention and I had to put in a new battery because my battery died. But I'm gonna be using this um, and it says kills over 99% of bacteria in 30 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bucket, fill it with some hot water, put some of this in there, and I'm gonna hand scrub the floor in there just to get it all nice and clean. Uh, hopefully that helps and um, gets rid of some of that, some of that vinegar smell. Um, but we're gonna get to work and we'll be back here in a minute. Sorry about the noise in here, but you know, so first off, so we have that water um, issue. So what I need to do is I'm gonna need to turn this on to get the hot water going. Cause we have hot water. Um, it's just with that leaking in the uh, bathroom and the tub, we gotta do this until we get it fixed. So we're gonna click this sucker on and we got the hot water going and then I'm gonna fill up a bucket. So I'm gonna get started now. Um, I got the bucket filled with water and the soap. Um, I'll show you, you can actually see, it kind of stained the floor where it was happening. I'll show you here. You can kind of see it goes over there. That's all sealed now and good to go. And there's some stains going around here. So I'm gonna get started. We're gonna scrub this down and see how it looks when I get done. Okay, so I was just informed that we need to get toilet paper, so I'm gonna show you what's going on out here. We got snow. Anybody that's been watching this channel long enough knows how much I hate snow. There we go. I'm starting to get the snow off the windshield here. I just gotta drive a little bit up the street to go to the store so hopefully I guess I'm gonna have to get out and wipe some of the snow off my truck but we'll be back here I'm just gonna go grab some toilet paper and then when I get back that water should be cooled down enough that I can uh, um, that I can scrub the floor so we'll be back here Okay, so I'm back now. I got the toilet paper. I was actually just on MT Homestead's uh, live, um, just chatting a little bit, and now I am getting back to work. Got to scrub this floor, get this all nice and cleaned. Uh, got some other stuff that I'm gonna organize down here in the basement, and just get this place just tidied up. Um, we know we're gonna be here, you know, we're looking for property, but we know we're gonna be in this house at least for another year and a half. Um, so we're looking at the summer, of not what would that be summer 24 so about a year and a half so um, we're going to be looking and we may get something before then if i can get the money and stuff right but <clears throat> we still got to be here and we got to be comfortable so i want to get this cleaned up i'm going to get back to work here i know this water's cooled down so i'm going to be ready to go
I got the basement, the floor all cleaned up. It's drying now. I'll show you. It really, it ruined this tile, so it just stained it. You can see there, it's still stained. I hand scrubbed it. Um, it is what it is. It's drying up over there too. Um, so I came, oh, that light's real bright behind me. Okay. Um, so I came out here and I was going to vacuum the carpet. I was moving stuff around. I actually found a new place for what uh, Wonder Arts and Adventures Brian made me um, right here. I thought it looked good, which means I might actually be moving some stuff around in the basement. I don't know, but I wanted to vacuum the floor. So I was using the vacuum back there. I was getting some cobwebs and stuff, took it apart. And that's the belt. So it, uh, I'll show you, it just, it was broken before I started using it. I was using the hose, so it wasn't a big deal on the other side. But now, and I'm gonna record this just so I can get, oops, so I can get the, uh, remember this in case I forget. It's a Bissell style. I'm just gonna show you there. PN3031120. So I'm gonna need to get a new belt um, for this so that I can use my vacuum and finish vacuuming in here. But after that, I think that pretty much finishes off my night of trying to do stuff in the basement. So I'm gonna get going. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna have some more basement projects going on. I have, there's a lot of stuff that I started that I need to finish, so I'm going to get going on that. Um, just kind of get this cleaned up. But I got done what I wanted to today. I wish I would have been able to do more with the vacuum, but it is what it is. We've had this vacuum probably eight years, and the belt just finally went on it. So it is what it is, but at least I have the belt, and I can read the numbers on it, and I can get me a new one. So hopefully it's not too expensive. But I'll see you in the next one. Slime on, everybody. Have a great week. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.